Welcome to AI Late to Class. Tonight we're going to be testing the new AQIF Image 14B model, which was made with the base model WAN 2.2. This is a text to image model which quality is on the same level as Flux 2 Dev and Quen Image Edit. I'll be running this in ConfUI, show you what you need to get it working, go through a few samples, so stay watching. Once you've downloaded the model, rename it to whatever you want and put it in the Diffusion Models folder. When you come into the workflow, this is this bit here, load diffusions model, and on that name, click whatever you renamed it. You'll also need this text encoder and VAE. I'll have those links in the comments, and you can put your VAE in your VAE folder and your text encoder in this clip folder. If you want to speed things up, you can download this LightX 2V LoRa that'll be in the comments as well, and you put that into your LoRa folder. Here's the prompt for the girl riding the bike. Not long at all, pretty simplistic, and it works well. The resolution on these are 920 by 1080, and I have six steps. Be taking two and a half minutes to generate on my 16 gig VRAM. The first prompt I tried was this really long, complex one, and it's done a good job of that. Here's my thumbnail prompt, a realistic elf working quality control at a chocolate factory dressed as if it was working for Santa. Now it did do this other one here, I didn't really want a second one, but it's come off pretty good. The quality is actually really amazing. Now when I use other AI image generators and I try and prompt someone from the past or try and do dinosaurs or anything like that, when I do photorealism, I sort of get this cartoony AI-ish look, but this one really nailed it. That looks like a real person, not this sort of cartoony style thing. And I mean, look at my prompt, it's very simple. This is one of my favourite prompts that I put in all the image generators. 1980s style cartoon of a funny cat walking down a city street holding out some cash. This one is the best I've ever seen, better than any other commercial ones. It's got real fine detail here. To test its creativity, I did a storybook type castle popping out of a book, and this is what I come up with. It's very good, however, when I zoom and it still looks a bit plasticky, it's a little bit AI-ish, I sort of wanted it more real. I then tested to see how it would do with real objects doing things that aren't natural, such as this cow riding a bicycle playing a trumpet. And I've got this over here. So this one didn't really come out real, it's still got that AI-ish look to it. Had a look on Mid Journey for some good prompts on there, and I came up with this one. I'm not going to read it out, but let's just look at the photo. It came out with that real Mid Journey look, real crazy artistic style. Tried the robot prompt again. This has come out better than Z Image Turbo or Flux 2. Look at all these reflections in here. Had a go at a Star Wars charcoal sketchbook art, and this is what it did. This is really good. I mean, look at the facial expression. And these stormtroopers, everything is so good. Here's another realism prompt because that's what everyone is always looking for. Got a female consultant from Sweden with blue collar shirt, looks towards the camera. Let's have a look at that. I mean, this is amazing. This, I think this is better than Flux 2 or Queen Image Edit or Z Image Turbo. This is my test on the magazine cover with text. And it didn't come out so good. It's got a nice picture here, but the actual words are just a mess. It isn't really got the layout that I want. And this prompt, I've gone for a real detailed wool felt style and see what that's done. It's come out really good. It's got some fine detail there. All these corn on the roof. This is really good as far as the prompt following is. Lastly, I'm going to do the soaking wet tiger prompt, which I did in Z Image Turbo and Flux 2. And look at this. Right, that is really good. If I zoom in, that's usually the teller of things when you zoom in and everything looks all warped and messed up. But this is looking really good. Anyway, I'm really tired, so I'm going to go. Please leave feedback whether you think this model's any good. Match it up between Queen Image Edit and Flux 2 and maybe Z Image Turbo. Tell me what you think and like, subscribe to my channel, watch all my old videos, and we'll see you in the next one.